Yeah, hi everybody, this is Ryan again. Um, I want to show you a little problem I've been having and uh, kind of a somewhat of a fix for it for the time being until I get back home. Uh, well, my air, I just replaced my air dryer about 40,000 miles ago back uh, September, October ish, I think I did it. On the bottom, the purge valve was blowing off. Um, since I was close to a dealer, uh, I just bought a whole new air dryer unit, purge valve assembly with a filter and everything on it. And um, I just fixed it myself um, in the parking lot where I was at, swapped it out. And it was like 350 bucks for the whole unit. But uh, since then, um, I've had it in the bottom of the purge valve, it's been sticking and it's been blowing out air, and the truck won't build air pressure. Um, so I can kind of show you, you know. And you see, I mean, the gate, it's just sitting there and ain't building any air. Now, it's, I'm out here in the Turk, California right now, and I, it's pouring down raining. But uh, this is one of the few opportunities I've actually got it to do it, where it's uh, been in the middle of the day, because, you know, I typically drive at night. But uh, I'll go outside, we'll show you what it's ex exactly going, and um, we'll go from there. I don't know if you can hear that air in the video. That's the air dryer right there. On the bottom of it, you can feel there's air coming out the bottom. It's blowing off. The purge valve is stuck open. It's blowing all my air out. It won't blow the air pressure. So it's, your compressor is just going to sit there and run and run and run. So. Well, I've used, it's on a caging bolt that I had laying in the truck. You can stick that up in the bottom of that where the air is coming out. Kind of fiddle around, push it up in there, and here, as you can hear, it stops. Then it'll build pressure again. So if you ever have this problem, and you're stuck somewhere, and it ain't building air pressure, and you hear air coming out of that, um, some of them, you can stick your finger up in there. I don't know if I'd recommend that or not. Like I said, use a bolt, a screwdriver, stick it up in there, fiddle around with it, move it around a little bit, and you'll get that, that valve to close. Now once I get back home, or if I see a Kenworth dealer, or Peterbilt dealer, the one, um, I'm gonna pull on a stop, and I'm gonna get that, that purge valve cartridge and switch it out, because obviously something something ain't right in there. So I um, hope this helps you out if you're on the road and you're stuck somewhere. I said if, you, if your truck ain't pulling air pressure, and you get out and you hear that, don't panic, just get something. Um, find where the air's coming out of it. I mean, these can be on a Kenworth, on my truck, on a C660, it's uh, back here behind the cab and the frame is pretty easy to get to. I know on some of the freight liners, it might be up underneath the hood or, or wherever, but get out of your truck and listen for that air blowing out. And uh, like I said, if it's that, then just stick something there so you can fiddle, up, fiddle with it and get it to build pressure, then get on your way and get it fixed. So, hope this helps. Have a good one.